I mean, on the other side, they're just weird. I mean, they really are. The things that they stand for. Donald Trump, of course, is afraid of, of uh, windmills. And, you know, he talks about uh, all kinds of crazy stuff. You know, his running mate, as you probably have heard, is, uh, you know, getting known for his obsession with couches. That was Illinois Governor J.B. Pritzker taking shots at Trump's running mate, J.D. Vance, who was still getting ripped apart for a rumor that is not true that he had written about having sex with a couch in his famous book, Hillbilly Elegy. On Wednesday, the Associated Press released a fact chain, uh, check on that claim uh, titled, No, J.D. Vance did not have sex with a couch. But do we really know? I mean, come on. Sexual anarchy? Uh, with a couch, uh, with the cushions. <laughs> um, now, the AP has since deleted that fact check. Reportedly, they could not find the claim in Vance's book. And in a separate report, the cut also did not find the claim in the book. Uh, and the Twitter account also even admitted to making it up. That said, the internet has already taken hold of it. And guess what? We're not letting it go. <laughs> uh, for all we know, the, the lore for J.D. Vance means he has, uh, you know, had sex with the couch. Uh, and and that's, just, that's just the way that it is now. And it will never go away. Tighten up my meat. I like my meat tight. Mm, especially between those couch cushions, uh, says J.D. Vance. So, <laughs> that said, this has even made it all the way to Fox News. Kennedy, it seems like the Republicans are getting a big uh, J.D. Vance, should I say couch-sized wake-up call. <laughs> you, uh, you pervert. You got, you got smut on the brain. Did he or didn't he? Greg says that X is so great now. And uh, I think J.D. Vance wishes that there was some more policing of content. Um, Probably not. He, let's, let's I don't think he that liked. part of the discussion. Oh, shall we? Get on to let's <laughs> move to the next section. Is yeah. that a sectional joke? Okay. Uh, <laughs> Kennedy, what do you think is going on right now? In the you love to see it. You love to see it. <laughs> now, look, obviously, we don't have any evidence that J.D. Vance had sex with a couch. But we also didn't have, don't have any proof that he didn't. Mm, mm. Now, but, but no, I, I, look, what's really funny about this entire thing is not just the ridiculous rumor itself, because the internet, right? No, it's the idea that so many people could see this guy as a potential couch effort, okay? Uh, and I think that has a lot to do with the fact that he has got some pretty extreme views on sex and gender. Um, for example, he opposes abortion, even in the cases of rape and incest, and has compared it to slavery. Weird. He voted against uh, a bill ensuring access to IVF and suggested a ban on pornography. Also weird. Uh, he called universal child care a class war against normal people, as if he would know, you know, what a normal person is. Uh, in fact, you know, let me give you the quote on that. He said normal Americans do not want to shunt their kids into crap daycare so they can enjoy more freedom in the paid labor force. Well, I mean, look, uh, not into crap daycare, but actually into good child care. And yes, a lot of people actually would uh, like to do that. Uh, in reality, working parents have routinely claimed that the cost of child care is one of the biggest hardships they face when it comes to raising a family. So, you know, doing something about that, a lot of Americans would uh, be in favor of. Uh, in fact, Judd Legum, uh, writing for Popular Information, notes that in the United States, the child cost of child care is a barrier to many couples starting a family. One recent study found that the average cost of child care is $1,984 per month, higher than the uh, cost of a typical mortgage. That is if you're lucky enough to be able to afford a house in the first place, which a lot of people in this country can't. Okay, mm -hmm. so uh, it turns out that uh, normal people like being able to afford child care. Hmm. Especially now that it takes about two incomes to even survive in this country. Uh, but once again, uh, what would, what would this guy know, you know, about, uh, normal people? Okay. Apparently nothing. Uh, he also opposes codifying, uh, legislation codifying the right to same sex marriage and even suggested that people in violent marriages should, you know, stay together for the kids. Oh, here's what he said on that. This is one of the great tricks that I think the sexual revolution pulled on the American populace, which is the idea that like, well, okay, these marriages were fundamentally, you know, they were maybe even violent, but certainly they were unhappy. And so getting rid of them and making it easier for people to shift spouses, like they changed their underwear, 
again, this is not uh, a quote that normal people would say. Uh, that is going to make people happier in the long term. Wait, hold on. Um, yeah, it actually turns out that not getting beaten up by your spouse would make you a lot happier. I mean, it, you know, show me a show me any sort of relationship where you're getting the crap beat out of you, you know, uh, by your by your significant other that you were happy in. <laughs> no, there's no happiness there. Okay. Uh, he then said, and maybe it worked out for the moms and dads, though I'm skeptical. What? And then added, uh, but, it, you know, it really didn't work out for the kids of those marriages. Really? Really? Well, now, hold on here. Really? Uh, it, so, so you're saying it's, it's better for the, you know, kid to watch and uh, their mother get the crap beat out of them. And, you know, it goes the other way, too, sometimes. Um, it's better for the kid to watch their parent get the crap beat out of them than it is for those, you know, that couple to separate. And then, of course, find like a, a another parent that is not abusive. Um, that that doesn't lead to a better life. What? What? That doesn't make any sense. And by the way, when when he when JD Vance was asked about this, if hey, you know what? Uh, what uh, is it wrong for a woman to divorce an abusive spouse? Blank point blank, right? She he was asked about that. Because, again, it's based off his own statements. He was asked, and he responded by accusing the reporter of asking a, quote, ridiculous and loaded question. He ran away. He ran away like a coward. I mean, really? Really? And, of course, it, it, he ran away because he couldn't answer the question. Okay? Um, he, he has these views, which are very alt-right incel type views okay oh these childless cat ladies they 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 hate us because they're actually miserable what <laughs> no uh, oh yeah, yeah and you know what they would be better off barefoot and pregnant you know what i'm saying no <laughs> that's see that kind of bizarre stuff right there that is exactly why people could entertain the idea that this man was forced to have sex with couch cushions because with those kinds of beliefs there ain't a lot of women out there that find that attractive. Just saying. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, subscribe, hit the bell icon in order to get notified whenever a new video is released. And if you want to support independent, progressive media through this difficult time where it seems like everybody is shutting down, you can become a member on our YouTube page, you can become a subscriber on Facebook, or you can go to my Patreon. It's patreon.com slash Jeff Waldorf. Thank you.